uh, no sign of movement whatsoever. What's this? Oh, I can actually see it from the camera. There's the red light happening uh, as well. And you can actually move it front and the back. So a company called Zero Grow kindly approached me asking whether I'll be interested to review their product here. And this is basically a hair regrowth product or thickening uh, product by using a laser technology. And just so you know, um, I'm actually in few years time will be turning to mid 40s and I'm starting to see a dramatic hair thinning, uh, just like my father. And if I don't do anything about it, I'm gonna end up looking like him. I mean, don't get me wrong, I do respect the look of my father, but I wanna at least try some of the technology that is available to see whether I, my generation, uh, can make a, a difference uh, and so on. So I'm really excited to try this out. Uh, what I've been told is that you only need to try this three times a week and each session is about five minutes. So it doesn't really take much of your time. And the design, wow, it looks like a headset, but it's, in fact, it's actually a hair regrowth product. So rather than just using my personal experience and just quick outlook uh, from the video, I'm gonna be more scientific about, about this, which is to uh, use my um, wireless um, Microsoft here that could zoom in up to a thousand times so you'll be able to see my scalp before and after but unfortunately I just got this product so this video will be a quick unboxing and to show you how it works and then uh, later on in more than three months time which will take effect I will do the same thing by using this wireless uh, microscope and show you the result. Hence, it will be more scientific and more detailed and so on. So enough said, let's get into the unboxing of this product. So here it goes. Wow, look at that. That does look like one of those um, expensive headphones, doesn't it? And this is the uh, instruction manual. So if we were to open it up, this basically shows the um, conditions and how it works. The scientific side of it. It actually does say that um, three times a week and five minutes per session uh, to get the best result in three months. So it doesn't sound like you need a lot of time to spend on it and just the uh, diagram of the follicles and how it works and etc. If we go to the other side it's just the components, how to maintain it, an example of male pattern boldness and safety and cautions, etc. Now to the actual product itself, take the cover off, lift it up. Now look at that, that is quite cool. I like that. It does look like there's gonna be some sort of music coming out from here in both ways, wouldn't it? But um, I don't think it is. I'll be very surprised if it does. But anyhow, we got those laser projecting bulbs here and you can basically move around uh, this, angle it to your preference to focus on that particular area. I think that's why it's actually designed that way. It's a really good quality material as well, as you can tell. If you zoom right in, there's this copper effect and a rather light, which is good, but yet strong feeling plastic as well um, and if we look on the left hand side we got the USB-C uh, charging plug here and um, I think that's pretty much it isn't it and so oh, there's the power button here so you turn it on and I believe this is app base uh, functioning as well for each session we're gonna find out later on yeah the remaining is the actual USB-C uh, charging cable so it turns out that I'm an early adapter so at the moment we haven't got an app available for Zero Grow but if I were to scroll down on the um, pre uh, campaign on Indiegogo uh, page you can see the app um, control that is going to be available so if I were to click away from it it seems like you could adjust the timing um, from five to I think five is halfway through looking at the screenshot of the app and also you can 
uh, intensify uh, or sort of explain what sort of um, scalp or hair condition you have as well from the app. So that looks quite interesting indeed. But I have to say, it looks really cool uh, from like this guy's wearing a suit and he, it looks like he's wearing one of the coolest um, headphones and it goes well with the suit actually, uh, especially with that red light effect. I, I reckon if you were to walk around with this on the street, people are gonna think that you're a really trendy guy. So it looks really cool, I'm really pleased with it. So while we're charging our device here, I'm gonna use my Wi-Fi microscope to show you what's actually happened with my hair, the scalp, the volume of the each individual hair, especially I'm gonna focus on the front, so here it goes. So as you can see, yeah, there's a mixture of um, hairs here. So, sorry, let's let's try to get rid of some of the, oh yeah, that there you go. So you can see a lot of uh, thin hairs um, that are really weak with a mixture of thicker ones as well. So if we can somehow, look at that, that's really um, a shame, isn't it? If we can somehow enhance the volume of these hairs then with these thicker ones, then definitely we're gonna achieve the result here, wouldn't it? So let's just go slightly. Um, apologies for not doing it very well. So yeah, there you go, that's much better. So you can see my sweat and grease. <laughs> but the mixture of this thicker hair with it, there's these really uh, thin ones that needs to be strengthened up. That's the um, front side of my, or front sideways of my uh, thinning area. Now let's try to do the crown as well. Okay, so yeah, that's just the actual hair itself. If we slightly zoom out, yeah, on the same, um, crown itself it seemed to just be surrounded by thicker more denser but that's not quite the case because I believe this area is the most weakest point as I showed you early on on my preview let's actually zoom right in so that seems to be sort of midway but not really that dense so um, it's quite disheartening isn't it that maybe i have permanently i lost the whole you know the original thinning hairs here there's hardly any thinning it's just they're not as dense as i thought it, it would be on the crown so maybe this area my crown which is the most clear sign of showing is now not curable while as i'm i'm greatly encouraged by the uh, the front there's so many of these thin hairs that really need strengthening. So, well, at least I guess in the um, front seems to be more important for me, isn't it? Uh, at the moment, um, because that's when you face someone, <laughs> when you talk. But yeah, so that's very encouraging indeed. So let's try to see how this will take effect um, from now on. So that's pretty much it. So it seems to be almost fully charged up. So let's actually try it on, shall we? So here it goes. So you hear the beep. Uh, no sign of movement whatsoever. What's this? Oh, I can actually see it from the camera. There's the red light happening uh, as well. And you can actually move it front and the back. And again, I would like to treat the front side of my scalp. Um, I think it's because my head size is wider and bigger than a normal human being. Uh, this is not this, the actual side where I, the part that I thought is going to play music and so on. It doesn't cover you, my, my ear, um, but in fact, it actually is right above my ear, as you can see. And it's, it's nice uh, cushioning, actually. Um, it's comfortable as well. It's light. Um, and yeah, I could easily endure five minutes of this and so on. So um, I don't feel anything other than the fact that I could see from the screen, there's this red light flashing and so on. Um, I guess this will be the best way uh, to treat my 
uh, front side of my hair or scalp or head, whatever you want to say. Um, but I'm not sure whether wearing the glasses will be uh, more efficient or not. But it doesn't seem to be interrupting my rather bulkier smart glasses, uh, solo smart glasses. So that's really good. But again, at the same time, this could be pushed all the way back and so on. Um, and oh, I actually, well, that's really cool. Okay, so let's try that again, shall we? Ah, now that is really cool. So it somehow seems to have a sensor. Oh, it's all those two tiny bits on here. If you place your um, you know, finger cover it, it will actually ignite or turn on the red lights uh, like that, which I don't think is going to be good for the camera, but please don't look at these. I had a laser accident. I actually have a tiny uh, blind spot on my um, you know, vision as well. So it's not recommendable. Don't play around. Don't give this, this to the um, kids, but it's very cleverly designed. Uh, so let's try that again. So that seems to be turning on and you can move forward and backward. Uh, so there's two uh, supports. Uh, so one is actually for the top of your head, this brace and uh, both side of the uh, side of my head. There's this soft cushioning to settle it. And all I need to move, do is just move this around here and there. But I think because it's a five minute session every time, I got to do is this for five minutes and uh, just let it treat the um, thinning, thinned hair to make it thicker um, and see how it goes. All right, so um, every time uh, five minutes pass, it actually gives you that beep of a reminder to let you know that the session's over at the moment. So it's really good. So you don't really need an app to let yourself know whereabouts you are with the treatment. So if you think you've done um, about five minutes treatment in the front of your forehead, then if you wanna move on to the next one in the middle or the crown, you just need to listen to the sound every five minutes of a beep. If currently the app's not available, I, but I guess if you get the app later on, it will be more efficient. But at the moment, it's doable, very simple to use as well. So I'm really excited about this. Um, clearly, my uh, microscope, Wi-Fi microscope, are saying that, listen, uh, there's plenty of opportunity to grow the front part back. And I think this is a perfect timing before it's too late. I think at least it's going to maintain the way how it is now. If I'm going to have the same hair as this, uh, at the moment on my um, almost mid 40s until I die, <laughs> which it will be about 70s or 80s or maybe 90s, who knows, I'll be very happy. Um, but if I do lose my hair, well, I'm sure there's gonna be a, another different technology that will come along, or maybe I'll just leave it as it is. Uh, maybe I wanna look natural the way I am um, and all, get old naturally as well. Um, but yeah, um, it's very interesting, very exciting technology. Definitely, I would like to see uh, what sort of result we're going to get um, after three months time, which definitely I will come back to you. So very easy to use, um, pretty straightforward, very sensibly designed. Let's just see how it does to my hair in my circumstances and prove to you that this works. So thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. Have a lovely evening, morning or afternoon, wherever you are. All the best. Bye-bye.